Hey guys, everybody is talking about AI agents, MCP, Gen AI, and so on and so on. And it's real a hype that is going on. Everybody is saying, yeah, I'm going I'm creating agents and they do this and that. And it's like, I'm always like, yeah, yeah, let's see in production. Because right now it feels like it's on the top of the hype, right? Where everybody's talking about it. And it's always bad to just run after a hype topic. And for that, what I do is I try to look at trends. What is happening? Now, in this video, we're going to go through the hype cycles from Gartner from 2020 to 2022, which is basically the pre chat GPT era. And then from 2023 to 2025, the chat GPT era, I would say. And I think it's always very, very important to figure out where does this topic come from? How does this develop over time so that you can see, am I just blindly following a hype or is this really something that developed over time and is coming now and I should look into it. And also this allows you to understand when people talk about something all the time, okay, this is just a hype topic right now and people didn't really go through the phase where everything feels terrible and nothing really works, right? Because the hype cycle, let's quickly look at the typical phases of the hype cycle. Because when we look at the hype cycle, how Gartner has done this, and I really, really like this, is basically they have an innovation phase here, innovation trigger phase in the beginning. And then we have the peak of inflated expectations, thorough of disillusionment, slope of enlightenment, and then the plateau of productivity. And every technology moves through this. And I can already show you here for this year, AI agents, right? It's on the top here. It's the, basically, this is what everybody's talking about. But where are we coming from? Let's go to 2020 and look at this. I couldn't actually go earlier because it wasn't called the artificial intelligence hype cycle before. Now, what I've done is green is always when something appears, red is when something goes. And if something stays here, I mark it yellow, right? So when we look at 2022, what I found interesting here is Gen AI already came up here in 2020, right? Already came up responsible AI as well. I have no idea what is responsible AI. Sounds interesting though. Data fabric. You remember when everybody was talking about data fabric? Here, peak of inflated expectations was in 2020. And already we see here, this is the last time we see this. It's gone after 2020. So either it went through here and reached the plateau of productivity or we just threw it away because nobody gave a shit anymore. Then we have explainable AI. This is also something I remember clearly people talking about a lot. We need explainable AI. We need no black boxes. Everything needs to be explainable, right? Where has that gone? Nowhere. So explainable AI also has disappeared. And also, ah, small data was something that we had in 2020, right? We were talking about big data. Everybody was talking about big data. Then people were coming up with, ah, actually small data. But that was just here that disappeared. Because next, when we look at 2021, we still have responsible AI. We still have generative AI, but they actually trade positions, right? Responsible was further up here and Gen AI was further down and now they traded, but Responsible actually went below here. Also interesting is AI governance was coming up and it's already gone in the next year. So that's, that's gone. Synthetic data was coming 2021 and knowledge graphs was at that peak of inflated expectations. Edge AI was also something people were talking about. We need AI at the edge. Mm, okay. Then we had other topics here. I, what I found interesting is natural language processing. We had that was actually already the hype was over and it went down. That ca actually came up here in the middle, right? We never had this at the peak of inflated expectations. And then machine learning actually also appeared and disappeared here in 2021. Super interesting. As well as like chatbots were here at the thorough of disillusionment. 
and semantic search was going up. But, you know, these two chatbots, I think chatbots quickly went through here and semantic search as well. Autonomous vehicles we had. I always find this in interesting because I'm a vehicle guy. You know, that, that interests me. So how does did this look then the next year, right? Next year, responsible AI, generative AI went up. Synthetic data is here at the peak of inflated expectations. Edge AI knowledge graphs, they move down here. And natural language processing we still have here, right? It's still at the same, almost at the same level than the year before. But that's gone in the next year. Digital ethics came up, no, like was gone. AI cloud services actually came in here, which I find interesting that they didn't show it here. I guess it because it went in or got in so fast. And so AI engineering, actually, I, did I mention this actually got up here. So it appeared AI engineering. And remember where this sits here. Deep learning also, machine, so machine learning went away. Deep learning is still is here. Autonomous vehicle stays at the same level, right? Deep learning is also the last time, the first and last time we see this. So gone with it. Hype is over. 2023, see generative AI, responsible AI here moving, moving upwards. AI engineering still here is still down where we saw it last time. But prompt engineering actually came in here, right? 2023. And where we're entering the ChatGPT era, right? Before 2022 was pre-ChatGPT. Everybody was talking about Gen AI, ChatGPT, prompt engineering. Although AI engineering still stays here, right? Synthetic data is moving down here. Edge AI is moving down here. Knowledge graphs now almost here at the bottom. I remember here it was still up here at the bottom. And then autonomous vehicle still stays here. Cloud AI services quickly moves up here because think about today. Now we have these services on AWS, on Azure and so on. So this goes very, very quickly. Interesting. So not a lot of actually interesting new stuff that I find here. But everything is moving here towards the right. Now what has happening the next year when we go to 2024, AI engineering here quickly jumped up, right? Boom, jumped up here, from here to here. Now AI engineering is at the peak of inflated expectations. Responsible AI is kind of staying. Prompt engineering is going away. This is the last time we see it. Synthetic data, generative AI. So not a lot is happening except actually, did Edge AI actually go up again? Yeah, Edge AI actually came up again. Right, so it was here, then it went down, and now it's up again. So, but it didn't really go through the slope of enlightenment and plateau of productivity. So it's jumping ahead here, uh, back and forth here. Synthetic data, generative AI, cloud services, still here. Autonomous vehicles, just for reference here, still here. Right. So it's interesting. It's moving forward. Gen, Gen AI is moving forward. Responsible AI is still kind of. Hmm. There is actually nothing with governance here in this. And then for this year, this year you have AI governance coming in. So interesting. We The last time we had governance was here in 2021 with AI governance. So it, it disappeared and now it's coming in again as governance platforms. And I marked here Artificial general intelligence, it's still at the same point, lar larger than 10 years here, right? Still at the same point. AI agents came in here. You see, everybody's talking about AI agents, AI agents here, AI agents there. Still the same thing. And AI ready data is something new. I find this interesting. AI ready data. What does this mean? No idea. Synthetic data is moving down. Responsible AI is moving down, but I, I don't know. Generative AI going down here at the bottom, towards the bottom, and knowledge graphs actually 
and Cloud AI Services actually goes up slightly here. So you see, when people talk about AI agents, of course, it's at the top of the peak of inflated expectations right now. AI engineering, same thing. Now people need to start implementing this and they need to actually use this in production so that it goes through the phases here, right? Because when people start implementing this, they naturally go down and they see, see, oh, this is terrible. This doesn't work as I wanted it to work. So that is what we see. I hope this helps you a bit in the whole AI field. Now, there are a lot of other things, other hype cycles that are interesting. And let me know in the comments what you think. Also, have you seen something here that is interesting? Let me know in the comments. What should be here, actually? What are, what are you missing for this year? Is there something interesting this year? Let me know. I don't know. I think it's, it's, I really like it how they put stuff there. So I hope this helps you. I hope this gets you a bit off the hype and thinking and where does this come from and how does stuff actually travel through that hype cycle. So a bunch of topics are still hyped, although didn't really reach the plateau of productivity. Let me know in the comments what you think. By the way, if you want to take time and look at this, I'm going to put the link to an article where these are in, in the description of this video. So, see you next time.